space to be open to, to the Nigerian society, not only to, to participate in events related to Brazil, but it's anything that's of interest for the, for the Nigerian uh, society. So that's why we decided in collaboration with RDF Pathway Institute Solutions uh, to organize this symposium on empowering women in the diaspora. Uh, uh, I would like to thank you, Reverend Samuel Wikete, um, um, Ms. Tupe Usenmo, um, Mrs. Fumi um, Garrick, and Mrs. Ifuronte Koke. I, I hope I, I'm sorry if I, if I mispronounced. <laughs> uh, and also, I would like very much to, to, to give a um, a warm welcome to our uh, speakers of today. Um, Honorable Justice uh, Yetunde Omolara Idogo, um, Mrs. Roslyn Nakimbo, um, um, Mrs. Ibiduni Yalakija Ladapu, and, uh, and the Barrister Bona Okibo Udegbiwa. So thank you very much for, for being here with us today. It's an honor to be here with you. It's really very important this meeting today for us to start doing things together. We are really, we want to be part of your, <laughs> your uh, ideas and uh, this diaspora is so important for everybody. And uh, here is your space. You are welcome to come every time for us to discuss everything here. This is your space. And please feel welcome. Uh, this, I, I, I believe that's just the first time that we're going to meet here for long, long time we are going to meet again, meet again, and uh, everything, everything that we could uh, aggregate for you uh, in this diaspora, in this fight, please let us know because it's our, our fight too. Okay, thank you so much for coming. I would like to go straight to the point by adding over the microphone to the first speaker, uh, in person of Honorable Justice, Mrs. Yetune Omolara Yeah, the paper is on divorce matrimonial forces and other related issues under the matrimonial act. If the marriage is dead, the object of the law should be to give it a decent burial. In the English case of Greenfell and Greenfell, the citation is there, I don't let you with that. The court stated that the modern position is to grant divorce as painlessly as possible. I need to quickly chip in the fact that children are not in most cases, in fact, 99% cases, the cause of divorce, then they are invariably and sadly the victims. We know that domestic violence is, it comes across physical violence, psychological violence, economic violence, and so on and so forth. When we talk about the physical violence, it has to do with murder, rape, beating, wife beating. Wife beating is so much. We have rape, we have murder, we have wife beating, etc. for the physical violence. And for the psychological, we have verbal abuse, emotional stress, all this makes women, you know, to go under. That means their mood becomes so low. It leads to depression. For those of us who have made cousins, nephews, family, we bring them from the villages. They did not ask us. When you bring them to the city to say we want to empower or you want to send them to school, and then we turn them to something else. So most of the time, hunger. The child writes law. Thank God. That's why I told her that she's going nowhere. <laughs> why are you starving children for goodness sake? Why are you asking them to fast? It is my right. It is a right. You must feed me as a child. Abima. Yes. You must feed me. I do not ask you whether I'm even like you from your house care. Thank you. 